It's the most exciting time of the year for adventure seekers in the Midwest. As the weather warms up, outdoor enthusiasts suit up for a summer of exploration. Here on Rock Lake in southern Wisconsin, these divers from Chicago's northwest suburbs are in search of what many here believe may be a lost city. I know when I drop in the water, I feel a presence underneath the water, and um, it's unsettling. Dive master Rick Smith and his team are looking for a place locals have been talking about for years, underwater pyramids 60 feet down. They're hard to find, and most days, divers say a thick layer of silt at the lake's bottom covers all but the tops of the pyramids. Still, the search continues. So you can swim right by it, and it's 15 feet from you, and you didn't see it. Well, as far as indoor climbing, I haven't really found anything to be uh, uh, better. From deep diving to high climbing, adventure seekers are clamoring to an old grain silo in central Illinois. And it's hard for me to figure out where I'm going to go next, if I'm going to make it or not. <laughs> Michelle Coons is from Fox River Grove. This is her first climb in a grain silo, or anywhere else for that matter. But scaling the sides of this old silo is as much a mental challenge as it is a physical one. You just try to focus on keeping your balance and just pushing yourself because a lot of times you just want to quit. The other piece of advice they offer here, don't look down. You get 65 feet up in the saddle and you look down and you realize, wow, that's a really long way. If a need for speed keeps you more grounded, South Haven, Michigan is the place to be. At the Gingerman Raceway, drivers reach speeds of up to 120 miles per hour, and they do it in their own everyday automobiles. I bought this car for myself, and there was no place to open it up, but I get like three tickets in three days. Here you'll see everything from a Ford Focus to a Corvette. But when you're so used to bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic on the Edens and the Kennedy, or on the way to work, this really gives me an opportunity to get out here, stretch the car out a little bit, drive fast in a safe environment. Yeah. Pedal power is what drives these outdoor enthusiasts in Kettle Moraine State Park in Wisconsin. Melting glaciers left behind a variety of topography that's been home to a bit of everything over the years. I've watched the whole forest and the trails evolve over the last almost 29 years. You originally had, when I first came here, the snowmobile craze, then we went into the cross-country skiing, and now we're into the mountain biking thing out here. Bikers come from all over the Midwest to challenge themselves on 10 miles of trails. Some of us, you know, take our tumbles and then we, you know, learn that we're getting too old for it. So, <laughs> for tumbling, that is. <laughs>